So you've probably heard of ceramic coatings, right? These awesome paint protectants that usually come in a glass bottle. These last for many, many years and are arguably the best form of paint protection. They help to protect against the elements, the damaging UV rays against tree sap, bird droppings, uh, acid rain. They also give hydrophobic properties to the paintwork, meaning the tight round water beads and quick water sheeting. They add self-cleaning properties to your paintwork, meaning the vehicle is a lot easier to wash. Uh, also, they will give you chemical resistance. They're going to boost the gloss and they're going to add some slickness. Amazing stuff, right? So either you've applied one yourself with a DIY coating at home, like this G-Technic Crystal Serum Light, or you've paid a professional detailer to have one applied on your vehicle, a professional grade coating perhaps, uh, like G-Technic Crystal Serum Ultra. They're awesome paint protections. However, they're not magical force fields. They do need some maintenance if you want to keep them operating at peak performance and have them lasting for many, many years. So in this this video, I'm going to give you the four simple steps for an easy maintenance. So the first step will be to pre-wash the vehicle with a snow foam. The second step is going to be the hand wash with a shampoo. The step number three is going to be chemical decontamination. And number four will be to help boost that protection, add a bit of extra gloss and slickness and keep your ceramic coating operating at peak levels for many, many years to come. So you're going to see everything in this video. Without further ado, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan, welcome to the show. I hope you guys are having a great day, so let's dig right into it. I decided to partner up with G-Technic, so I wanna give them a shout out. Thank you for sponsoring this video and making all of this possible. And I remind you guys, any products, tools, and equipment that I talk about, I'll link all of those in the description under the video for you guys to check everything out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So as I said, we're gonna break this down in four simple steps. I'm gonna go over the products that we're going to be using today. Uh, everything is going to be from G-Technic. What I like of this company, Company, is not only are they a top tier brand for ceramic coatings, so they have some awesome ones that the public can buy, uh, like the Crystal Serum Light, a three to five year ceramic coating. And they also have something new that I did a video on. Check that out uh, as well if you have a minute. This is the topper known as EXO. This is new version five, only one layer required. So this here is a fantastic combo. Uh, I did a video showing how we applied this on a subscriber's vehicle, by the way, how you would uh, prep the paint and apply a ceramic coating if you're curious. So I'll leave those uh, videos linked in the description as well. You can check those out later on. But today we're focusing on once the coating is applied, uh, one or two weeks have passed, right? The coating is fully cured. Now you can start washing your car again. And two, three months or every two, three months, you're gonna do this kind of a maintenance wash. So what do you need? Very, very simple stuff. We're going to have the chemicals working for us. Very little uh, work whatsoever from you. So it's pretty simple. And what I like about all the products that I'm showing today is that they're compatible not only on G-Technic coatings uh, like the Crystal Serum Light, like the EXO, uh, like the Crystal Serum Ultra, uh, and uh, any other coating that they have in the brand, but it's also compatible with any other ceramic coating from any brand out there. So let's start right away with the demo. The first step is going to be uh, to use the citrus foam, also known as W4. Now again, you can use this in a foam cannon or in a foaming pump sprayer. Inside the bottle, when it's neat, so undiluted, it's a pH 6 to 8, which is still accepted as being close to pH neutral. Now what they're recommending with this one is you're putting 100 ml of the uh, foam uh, inside your foam cannon container and fill the rest up with 900 ml of water water, it's going to be roughly a 1 to 9 or a 1 to 10 dilution ratio uh, inside your foam cannon. And you're going to use warm water, by the way, in the foam cannon. Uh, mix that up, twirl it around a bit, and then you got your solution that's ready to spray on the vehicle. Now, the particularity with this one, I prefer to apply this on dry paint. Uh, however, some prefer to pre-rinse before they apply a snow foam. It's up to you to decide. I have a video on that. Uh, ultimately, you have to play around and see what works best for you. It doesn't really matter, guys. Uh, however, use common and sense. Of course, if the vehicle is caked in dirt and mud and a thick layer of disgusting stuff, you're going to probably want to pre-rinse first and then foam, right? Uh, also, before we start the foam stage, I'm not going to show the entire thing in this video because I've done many tutorials on that before, but I usually start by cleaning the wheels and tires. You want to get that out of the way first because uh, those are the dirtiest parts of the vehicle. And so, uh, okay, now it's time to foam the vehicle. What they recommend is to foam from the bottom up. Again, you can play around uh, and um, change things up uh, depending on what routine or regimen you guys use, but we're going to follow the instructions. And by the way, it is key. Please guys, when you use new products for the first time, before you try off-label use, read the instructions. They're written there for a reason. 
and the chemists that formulate this, because by the way, G Technic formulates their own products. They take great pride in that. So they take time to, for you to have the best user experience. Take the time to be familiar, read the instructions, follow them and use them as is. That's how you're gonna get the best performance out of each product. So you're foaming the product on, of course, never work in direct sunlight, guys, especially when you're doing a maintenance wash. You wanna work in the shade, on a cool surface or in a garage, preferably. Uh, if you have to work outside, work very early early in the morning or very late in the afternoon, never during the noon hours when the sun is at its brightest and hottest. You don't want your products drying on the surface and evaporating. So the dwell time on this, you're gonna let this on the surface for about, depending of course, again, on your temperature and conditions, anywhere from three to five minutes. Don't let the product dry on the surface. What this is going to do, it's gonna to start to lift and encapsulate loose dirt and debris, but also it's great at removing the grime and also bug guts. So when you have a lot of bug guts on your vehicle, those can be acidic and start etching through your protection and eventually through the clear coat if they're left unattended baking in the hot sun and so you want to remove that so that pre-wash is going to help soften up all that grime on the surface and then you're going to go ahead and rinse that off with either your garden hose or pressure washer and uh, evacuate all that foam so once that done that's part of the pre-wash right Again, it's to remove the majority of loose dirt and debris before the contact wash with your microfiber wash mitt. So that way you're reducing the chances of scratching or marring your paint uh, when you're doing the contact wash. Because the majority of the marring that occurs, so the light scratches and the light, the light swirls on your paintwork happen from the hand wash stage usually and the hand drying stage. So there are some tips and tricks that I share to help prevent those from happening. If you use safe washing and drying methods, you should have no issues your vehicle should have no scratches for many, many years. Now it's time to move to the hand wash stage. So you have two options with G-Technic. Like I said at the beginning, if you just want a regular pH neutral shampoo with no protection in it, you want a lot of suds and foam and all that kind of stuff, uh, you can use their regular W1 G-Wash. So this one here uh, is version uh, two. So this is kind of an update that has um, an added wetting surfactant in it for more work time on the coated surface uh, without the shampoo being rejected by your coating. So that's one particularity that they did. They're always working on updating their formulas. I really appreciate that. Uh, again, always uh, work out of direct sunlight, always in the shade on a cool surface. Something new that they have uh, in their lineup, we're going to be doing a two-in-one. So wash and protect at the same time by using their W3 Ceramic G-Wash. So for the dilution, pretty simple. Once again, they explain how to do it in the back. So in your uh, wash bucket, you're going to be using 20 mils of this in a 10 liters of water. Um, typically in a bucket, you can go all the way up to 20 liters, depending on how big it is. So you double that amount. Uh, four ounces, uh, basically for the ones who use the, the ounces metrics, uh, you can use roughly one ounce to 1.4 ounces in your five gallon bucket. Because typically in there, we use three to four gallons of water, right? We don't fill it up all the way up to the top uh, so about an ounce in your wash bucket and you're good to go uh, with this one though you're going to fill it up with cold water and you're also going to rinse with cold water it is very important what you're going to notice with this with the ceramic g wash because uh, this one here has ceramic protection built in traditionally these kinds of shampoos with ceramic protection they don't foam or suds as much especially when you're going to apply it on the vehicle you're not going to see much foam or suds as you're going to see on screen and that is totally normal by the way because there's no foam foaming agent in there. So that was done uh, purposely to remove any streaking potential or any residue left behind when you're washing your vehicle. However, even though it's a low sudsing formula, it is a very high lubrication formula because that's the most important feature. A lot of people stress with foam and all that stuff. If you like that, that's good. It's more of a visual thing. But the importance of a shampoo is lubricating agents. You want your mitt to glide on the surface, again, reducing the chances of scratching and marring. And that's one thing you're going to notice with this it is very very oh, it has a lot of lubricity so it's super slick uh, when you're washing your vehicle so this one here uh, it's going to give you up to three months of protection now of course on an unprotected vehicle you could use this it's probably going to give you maybe a month who knows this is mainly made to bond to the existing coatings right so when you're using this you should get anywhere from one to three months of protection so again you're boosting the existing protection which is the goal with this video make sure you shake the product well before you're using and um, yeah that's it it's pretty simple so it's going to give you that repellency as well so help to repel dirt and debris but of course 
course, make the vehicle easier to wash as well because you're boosting the existing ceramic protection. The pH inside the bottle, so the neat pH is anywhere from four and a half to five and a half. So it's slightly on the acidic scale in the bottle, but once diluted, it gets closer to that pH neutral, but that doesn't mean that it's not safe for your clear coat or for your ceramic coating. It is quite safe. So once you thoroughly rinsed the vehicle, and now we get into the chemical decontamination steps. So we're not going to clay the surface, right? A clay bar is an abrasive and you could damage and mar the um, top of your coating. So what we do is use chemical decontamination steps. But the most important one for me that we usually always get, especially if you have steel brakes, is iron particles that come from brake dust and uh, industrial fallout, uh, as well as if you live near uh, train tracks, for example, uh, some um, some train or iron fallout uh, from, from trains themselves. So we're going to be using W6 iron and fallout remover. Very simple, while your surface is still wet, you're going to spray this on generously. Doesn't matter if it goes on your plastics, you can even uh, apply this on glass, chrome, all the exterior surfaces, don't worry. So spray that on liberally. Uh, you're also going to apply this on your wheels, of course, because that's where the most of the brake dust comes from, the iron particles from your iron discs, uh, from your ferrous metals that are there. So those get hot, they embed themselves in the clear coat and they tend to oxidize or rust over time. That's when you see those rust specks, right? Especially on white or silver paints, it's very obvious to see, but all colored cars have iron deposits if you have those regular steel brakes. So you spray this on, the cool thing, it's a visual indicator. So you're gonna let this dwell on the surface for roughly three to five minutes. Never let these uh, dry on the surface and again, never work in direct sunlight. Uh, this clings onto the surface nicely and when it reacts, it's going to turn to a purple color. That's that's a visual indicator that the chemical reaction is happening. And basically those jagged edges on those iron particles are accelerated through this product, the oxidation process. They're gonna round those edges off and then they're gonna be more soluble in water and you can flush those out. So yep, you're gonna rinse the surface. So thoroughly rinse, make sure you remove all of that stuff up. And the next step, if you notice uh, on the surface any water spots, so it can be uh, on your paintwork, usually especially coatings, sometimes uh, if you live near a spring a sprinkler or you have hard water issues where you live or for some reason you wash your car in direct sunlight and you have hard water and it left mineral deposits if left unattended those water spots are acidic in nature they're going to start etching through your protection they're going to eventually etch through the clear coat and can leave permanent damage that can only be removed sometimes by machine polishing or water sanding uh, or even worse maybe they're going to do permanent damage then nothing will remove except if you do a full respray so to prevent all that regular maintenance is key but they also have the W9 water spot remover. So you're gonna dry the vehicle after you're done rinsing it. You're gonna spray the product on your microfiber towel. You're gonna to wipe the product on the painted surface itself. And you're immediately gonna take a second clean and dry microfiber towel and you're going to buff that off. And then once you're done doing the entire vehicle, the mineral deposits will have been removed through chemicals. And it's very important, you're gonna rewash your vehicle at that point. If you follow it up with the water spot remover, uh, you wash your vehicle vehicle again, you rinsed it down, and again we're at the point where the vehicle is still wet. It's clean but wet. What we're going to do is boost the existing protection by using a drying aid. So a drying aid is a lubricating spray that oftentimes is a quick detail spray, or in this case, is a higher end protection that you're gonna spray on the wet surface. And it acts as a lubricating agent to help your microfiber drying towel glide on the surface. Again, you're minimizing the chances of scratching or swirling your paint. So in this case, the drying aid we're going to be using is a very good or well-known product in the industry, C2V3, also known as ceramic sealant. This is going to provide four to six months of protection, so up to six months of durability out of this. Of course, guys, like anything, durability depends on many factors, right? It depends on the prep, the application, the conditions you live in, the weather that your vehicle is exposed to, the mileage that it does, what kind of maintenance you perform, so it might vary depending also on which climates you live in, so on and so forth. But you can expect in uh, the best of conditions, up to six months of protection. Basically, you're boosting the gloss and the slickness. It can be layered as well if you wanna stack it. Uh, so this one here can be sprayed uh, another layer over itself if you want to. It's gonna give you that uh, repellency, that extreme repellency. It's a simple and fast application. So you spray on the surface liberally, panel per panel, and then you're going to take your microfiber drying towel and you simply glide on the surface and you dry that surface. That's it, 
very, very easy. So this can be applied pretty much to all the exterior surfaces, guys. Whether it's paintwork, your chrome, your plastic trim, even glass surfaces, regardless what surface it is, spray it on, take your towel, dry it off, and there you go. You should feel your surface to be super slick immediately, and you're gonna notice a very big difference in that way. You're also getting the UV protection. Also, never forget, shake the product well before you use it right, and again, don't work in direct sunlight. Work in the shade on a cool surface like anything else. Uh, now, if you uh, want to use it as a drying aid, as we've shown in this video, that's fine. So you spray it on a wet surface, you dry with your microfiber drying towel. Uh, some people also like to first dry the vehicle off and then apply this on a dry surface. Uh, some ask, does it really boost the protection more because you're not diluting it? If you're using it as a drying aid, so on and so forth, guys, don't overthink the moment. Uh, the dilution that you would be doing if you're spraying on a wet surface is very, very minor. You're still gonna get months of protection. You're using this as a drying aid to increase speed and efficiency because not everybody wants to spend many, many hours uh, doing a maintenance wash. You have busy lives or if you're a detailer, time is money. So you want to be as efficient as you can. But just note that you can apply this on dry surfaces as well. You would spray on your towel or on the surface depending on how you prefer it. Uh, do your initial wipe with the first towel. Take your second clean and dry microfiber towel. Do that final buff for a streak-free shine and you're going to get that gloss, that slickness and you're extending the protection or you're boosting the protection of your existing coating because that's the entire purpose purpose of this guys right it's not only help clean and unclog the pores of the coatings to restore the hydrophobic properties and we saw that in the video uh, we noticed how much better or how back to normal the hydrophobic properties were so all that tight round water beads and the quick water sheeting facilitating washing the vehicle but also the drying stage when you have a ceramic coating by the way you can use you can use a leaf blower or a car dryer to blow the water off the vehicle so in a matter of one or two minutes you do the round of your car and that's it boom you're done so use the hydrophobic properties at your advantage or again you can use a drying aid with a microfiber drying towel with the ceramic sealant but now for the finishing touches we always want to make sure the vehicle is as nice as you can take that extra time uh, it's only once every two to three months so make sure you do a nice job right we all love the details so we're going to use the g6 perfect glass so this one here has a strong cleaning function, but it's gonna give you a crystal clear finish, which is what we want. The cool thing of this one too, is that it has an anti-static effect built through. So what it does, it creates a positive charge on your glass surface and it helps to repel dust. So that's pretty awesome. It glides very, very easily. Uh, we use the uh, diamond uh, kind of weave microfiber glass towel. So low nap, no linting. So you want dedicated glass towels when you're cleaning your glass. We're gonna do the box method. So you do the edges first and work your way in the center of the glass flip the towel to the clean and dry side and there you go you have crystal clear glass you can use this of course on the interior windows as well uh, it's safe on tinted windows no tint by the way many people ask me is it safe on tinted windows don't forget that film that tint film is on the inside yes you can use this on the inside as well even if the windows are tinted there's no ammonia it's ammonia free so safe for tinted glass uh, and you can also degrease your windshield by the way if you see that kind of haze or fume that usually comes comes from the off-gassing of materials. So the plastics, vinyls, leather, all that stuff that's in your car uh, eventually emits that gassing off and gassing out of those materials and they can leave a residue on your windshield. So you have to degrease the interior. I have a quick video tutorial, so search how to clean the interior of your windshield on my YouTube channel and you're gonna find that. Uh, but yeah, Perfect Glass is a very, very good glass cleaner. Now, last but not least, to give that ultimate finishing touch, we're going to apply a tire dressing right so to give that nice black appearance now g technic has two options for you so the first one here is a dirt and water repellent formula so this is called the t1 durable tire gel and this one here has a long life because it's gel based so we're talking up to three or four weeks uh, of that uh, dressing protection it is dirt and water repellent also it's going to give you either a satin or gloss finish depending on what you prefer so if you apply one layer you're going to get that more satin or matte effect darkening effect and if you like that wet look well wait 10 minutes after you applied the first layer come back and apply a second layer and you're going to get that glossy appearance 
Uh, so this one here is the longer lasting one of the two, if that's what you want. That's what we applied uh, in this video. Again, the application was very easy using the G-Technic uh, dressing applicator or multi-use uh, applicator with hexagon shapes on the front. Uh, you pour the gel, you rub it in with your finger, and then just do the tire sidewalls uh, and you're good to go. Don't forget the lower part of the tires that are usually unaccessible. Just roll your car back or forth about a foot when you're done to reach that other part that was near the bottom, right? Keep that in mind, we want a perfect uh, result. So the next one or the other alternative, uh, for those of you who want to save a bit more money, this one here is the tire dressing. This is the T2. This is a water-based formula. This one is gonna last not as long as T1, but still one to two weeks. Uh, it's less expensive, 100% biodegradable, and you're still gonna get that awesome sheen. You can layer this as well, by the way, if you want. So if you want additional uh, gloss, like for T1, you would wait 10 minutes after your first layer, come back, apply a second layer, and you're good to go. You're gonna have more gloss. Uh, and also, you're going to remove uh, with T1 and T2, if you see any uh, leftover residue, just take a microfiber towel and wipe that, wipe the excess off. And if you properly prepped the tires like you're supposed to, right? When you're cleaning your wheels and tires, always degrease the surface of your tires. That way you're removing any previous tire dressing. You're also removing any dirt or grime and you're prepping the tire for your future dressing to be able to bond to better, last longer. And also you're going to avoid to have any tire sling, those black dots that come from those oily dressing, dressing that spray all over the place. That's typically because either you're using a very, very viscous or oily substance, not that good of a tire dressing, or you didn't prep the tire properly. So if you prep them correctly, uh, these two will not give any tire sling. It's gonna give you a nice finish. So if we look at the final results, guys, I think it speaks for itself. If you look at this on the screen, lots of gloss, the slickness on your hand when you feel the, uh, the paintwork with the backside of your hand is just amazing. Uh, we've restored the hydrophobic properties, so tight round water beads, a lot of quick water sheeting, uh, and it just looks amazing. Like day one when we applied the ceramic coating, thanks to these G-Technic products that are compatible, by the way, not only with G-Technic coatings, but with any ceramic coating that you might have or might have applied on your vehicle. So a universal uh, product lineup that is such high quality. Again, look how stunning the results are. The tires are done to a T. Uh, the wheels have also had some protection boosted on there, and the paintwork looks awesome, and it just looks breathtaking. And there you go, there we have it. We have the entire vehicle not only clean, we have it deep clean, guys. So the properties of your coating, we were able to restore them. So we're getting awesome gloss, awesome slickness. We're having them for last for years now. We're extending their lifespan or at least we're making sure we're gonna reach the maximum claimed durability as much as possible, right? Uh, and also we're getting the hydrophobic properties, nice tight round water beads, very quick water sheeting, again, making the vehicle easier to clean for future washes. It's gonna look cleaner for longer. And uh, yeah, it just makes the whole experience of owning your car and having it ceramic coating, uh, ceramic coated that much better. I hope you learned a lot today. By the way, I'm gonna leave the links to all of these products in the description under the video for you guys to check those out. Uh, if you think somebody else would benefit from watching my tips and tricks in my videos, share my video, guys. Uh, share my videos with friends, with family, spread the love. It always helps the YouTube channel grow even more. You guys have made this one of the biggest car detailing channels on YouTube as we're approaching a million subscribers at the moment of this video. We're filming this in 2023. So uh, yeah, we're getting close to that million subscriber mark. We've surpassed 115 million views at this point, And I have you to thank. You're faithful to the Pan, the organizer. Uh, channel and I just love doing these videos for you guys. I love car detailing. If you want to learn more about car detailing, all the products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques, make sure you hit the subscribe button that's found under this video and that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So guys, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching and in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.